hey guys welcome back to another video uh today it's gonna be i think a little quick video um so i don't know if it's common on most of these 350z's but every time i turn on my uh ac uh with the recirculation air uh it starts clicking i found out that it was clicking um close to where like the cabin area is so in the passenger side so let me just show you as you can see car is currently running right now every time you turn on ac it turns on no clicks just yet um, turn on to facing me okay so as you heard that right so usually let's say it's not this right it's like that make sure it's facing you uh, AC is on blast or whatever so once you hit this so like the blend door could actually open I know you guys hear that right that's pretty loud ass click noise every time you turn it off or every time you put in in air it stops clicking uh, it could either probably be opposite for you uh, mine's just been very like optional I guess it just chooses once to click or not usually it's when you just basically open the door so uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it is and what's making that noise if it's happening to you. Okay, so the thing that's gonna be making that noise 100% is gonna be this thing right here. So what this is, is an AC blend door actuator. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get to it. And then once we get to it, I'm gonna show you guys what it does or what it's for. Okay, so starting off, as you can see, we're currently in the passenger side. Um, first thing you wanna do is just should just be a couple of clips holding this you kind of just want to yank it out just like that as you can see held on my clips okay now that that's out this right here is your cabin uh, assembly so we're gonna go ahead and take this out uh, first uh, you want to try to take this out just because it might be in the way just to one of the bolts to get this out so I'm pretty sure these are going to be 10s uh, or 14 actually. So let me double check. Okay, so these are 10. So go ahead and grab yourself a wrench, ratchet, or an impact. Go ahead and take these two bolts out. This little piece held on by two clips right there. Two sliding pins or whatever. Comes out just like that. Okay, so now that that middle piece is off, this right here is what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and take this whole assembly off looks difficult trust me it is not um first it's held on by a couple bolts that i don't currently have i removed it a bunch of times that i just put on like about two bolts so as you can see one of them is right there one that one pretty sure that one is a 10 as well these are all going to be 10s um here is one of them and then another one should be up there which i currently don't have right now um i think that i think it's only those three right now should be only those three um so take those three off and they should just pop out um before we do that actually so let's go ahead and first disconnect this this is gonna be the thing that's controlling i think the this is the blower motor uh connector so this right here is the blower motor connector uh, this is the blower motor itself. Let's go ahead and take off this one Just like that And then let's take off that one. Okay, so for that one you're probably gonna have to use a ratchet just because it's in a In a very weird spot As you can see Let's go ahead Loosen that up and you're gonna see this start to fall Alright, as you can see. Okay, now that it's off, that's that. Like I said, uh, most of you guys that have not removed it um, are probably going to have that one to remove. Uh, but for me, it's just these. So now you just want to pull it a bit. It should just come down. And then this wire right here connects to that part I showed you. So this, the blend door, the actuator. You want to just go ahead grab this connector right there 
and then you just want to disconnect it like that one thing i need to show you guys is that there's gonna be this little piece right here on the back this little plastic piece so it was facing like this there's gonna be a plastic piece on the back right here then that's actually gonna be holding onto this little black piece right there so what i did since i kept removing it over and over again is just honestly cut it off it was just really annoying to keep putting back up there um i didn't notice anything different at all whatsoever so i would say it is okay to remove i'm pretty sure it's just so it can you know be held on nice and good so that little black piece would just slide in to the back of this as you can see i snapped it off so as you can see this little door opens when it recirculates uh, i'm pretty sure it closes it i'm not too sure whether it opens or closes but the thing that operates this little door right here the piece i showed you guys this is what makes it click the noise so i'm um, so all you need to do to remove it is pretty much there should be just two screws one screw depending so like i said in order to remove this you just want to go ahead grab some screws just pop off just like that and obviously as you guys could tell this is the same piece so this is the old one that i try to keep fixing didn't work out um and then this is the new one so we're gonna go ahead and install this so we're currently about to just install it basically just reverse process as you guys saw so it should just pop on now that it is on basically we just put it back in and actually a quick way before you install it you can just connect all this really quick and just have the key on uh accessories only so watch well now that i turn this it's closed as you can see when i reopen it slides back up door opens okay so let's test it we already did but just so it could be sure on let's see if we hear any clicking so that'd be it for the video uh thank you for watching it hopefully that helped you uh hopefully that is the same problem as what you're having uh, but that'd be it for the video like and subscribe